Welcome to Flat Panels HD on YouTube. We're sitting here with the new Android O um, version of the TV software that Google announced a few days ago. Um, we will just give you a quick overview of what's new. Um, if you're familiar with the Android TV, you can already see that it's based on the same concept. It's uh, content rows or channels as Google now prefers to call it. Um, but there are some, some pretty big differences. Um, if we start at the top, you have the uh, voice command search. It's uh, still not the new Google Assistant. Uh, it will uh, be available later, so there's nothing new to show you here. So let's move to the apps uh, row. So now you can see you have, uh, you have uh, six apps here. These are um, the apps that you would most frequently use, um, you can move them around as you please. So if you go over here to the left, you get a new um, app screen. And if you want to move, for example, Showtime um, to the top, you can do like this. Now if you go back, it will go here. It's up to you. Um, you also have your games, they're listed here. They're not currently on the home screen. Um, but uh, only, only listed here, I don't know if that will change in the later um, software. Uh, we probably have to, to say that this is the beta, it's the first beta, so things can of course change. Um, so going down, now you have these channels, as Google prefers to call it, um, one for each uh, app or service. So, so Hulu would have it, its own and it can highlight uh, content here. Google. Uh, says that, that um, services can even uh, use video if they want to. So when you scroll uh, through, it could be a video that would autoplay. It's up to each uh, service to, to, to decide what they want to do. Right now it's, it's only stills and I guess that's because it's, it's uh, the beta and, and each service has to take advantage of, of these APIs. Um, but you go down and you can see that each app has its own um, channel and you can manage all of this uh, at the bottom here. So you can um, see what you have here. Not all of the apps that we have installed have channels and I guess that's also uh, because they, they have to implement it. Um, each app can actually have more than one channel. It doesn't work yet. As you can see, we can only select one, but Google says that if you want two channels for YouTube or more, you can. So it could be one playlist from anywhere and another playlist. Uh, it's, it's basically up to you, so you can customize your, your home screen. You can move uh, the channels up and down, so if you want Red Bull at the top, you just swipe up here. Um, this one, Watch Next, is uh, new. The idea, as you can see, it's, it's empty now, but the idea is that it will aggregate content from across services. So you could have your TV shows that you're currently watching from Netflix, uh, Showtime, YouTube, whatever, they will show up here and you can just click play and it should jump uh, straight into the program instead of having to navigate uh, to each app and then finding the content and all that. So it, it should be more convenient, faster and uh, yeah, easier. Um, up here, you have notifications, so apps can can use the notifications for whatever. Say, okay, a new game is coming up now. Um, it's up to them. We have a new um, settings menu now. Uh, sidebar. It's, it's besides being a sidebar, it's more or less unchanged. So there's no point in, in going through all of this. Um, I just want to quickly show you here uh, Netflix, now it's gone, it will go in here, I'll open Netflix, because it was always already open uh, and in memory, it, 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 it uh, boots up very fast, and if I try to play some content, for example this, I'll just click play, and see how fast it, it actually plays, it's uh, sm small details that, that make the the experience of using Android TV much more smooth and and uh, intuitive. Um, overall, I would say that that the new interface feels faster when you swipe through. It it, it doesn't lag like uh, it sometimes would in the past. Um, 
I think my, my first impression here is that that it's it's positive. My first impression is is positive, but we'll see once once apps start to take advantage of this. It it, it could be good, and it's a welcome change to an Android TV system.